हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम तन्मय दे वेलकम टू संचयिता टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिक्टेट एन एडिटोरियल पैसेज फ्रॉम द हिंदू एंड इट्स ऑन द क्लाइमेट एंड कार्बन न्यूट्रलिटी टोटल वर्ड्स थाउजेंड स्पीड विल बी हंड्रेड मोर पर मिनट एज यू नो आफ्टर द डिक्टेशन यू विल गेट the full passage few important words outline and meaning of few important words now be ready i will start my dictation after the countdown of 5 5 4 3 2 1 History is divided into two years before the Common Era or BCE and Common Era or CE. But given our experience this year, BCE could well stand for before the COVID-19 epidemic and CE for the COVID-19 epidemic. To say that 2020 has been cataclysmic is to state the obvious and actually made. an understatement our lives have been turned upside down the covid-19 crisis and its aftermath can be seen either as a longish pause on the button of economic growth or as an opportunity for reset recalibration and rethink covid-19 is undoubtedly a public health catastrophe and certainly calls for enhanced investments in research and development that infringes directly on public health but more fundamentally the pandemic reflects fundamental ecological disequilibrium evidence has accumulated that loss of biodiversity and ever increasing human incursions into the natural world have contributed heavily to the outbreak and spread of epidemic diseases understanding the three es evolution ecology and the environment will be key to identifying potential pandemics covid-19 also reinforces the need to pay far greater attention to the biosciences that underpin agriculture health and the environment that are going to be profoundly impacted by the current pandemic there is also now robust scientific evidence to show for instance how air pollution exacerbates the impacts of covid-19 public health science and environmental science are two sides of the same coin in fact i have been saying for over a decade now that our environmental problems such as air pollution water pollution chemical contamination deforestation waste generation and accumulation land degradation and excessive use of pesticides all have profound public health consequences both in terms of morbidity and mortality and hence demand urgent actions the traditional grow now pay later model is not only unsustainable in the medium to long term but also dangerous to public health in the short term we live in a world where climate change is a reality no longer can we argue about uncertainties in the monsoon the frequency of extreme events the retreat of the himalayan glaciers and the increase in mean sea levels a recent report of the ministry of earth sciences called within single quote assessment of climate change over the indian region is an excellent and up to date analysis that deserves wider debate and discussion it also points to the need for making our future science and technology strategies in different areas and called in an understanding of the impacts of climate change caused by continued emissions of greenhouse gases this 
scientific understanding is essential for what may be a solution at one point of time but becomes a problem at another point and may even become a threat in a different context. Take the example of HFCs or hydrofluorocarbons that were at one time seen as the panacea to fix the depletion of the ozone layer. The depletion of the ozone layer has been fixed more or less. But HFCs are a potent threat from a climate change perspective since their global warming potential is a thousand times that of carbon dioxide. In September 2018, the American state of California, the world's fifth largest economy in itself, was the first to commit itself to carbon neutrality. The aim was to achieve this by 2035. In December 2019, a few weeks before, the world became aware of the COVID-19 catastrophe. The European Union followed California's example but with the year 2050 in mind, in September 2020, China stunned the world by declaring its goal of carbon neutrality by 2060. And just a few weeks ago, Japan and South Korea joined the club by announcing their intention to do so by 2050, like the UE, India too has to begin thinking very seriously about its level of ambition in this regard, especially since this will have public health consequences as well. We cannot always hide behind the fact that our per capita emissions will continue to be low, that is <coughs> obvious given the continued increase in the denominator. At the Paris Climate Change Conference in December 2015, we committed to having 40% of our electricity generating capacity for non-fossil fuel sources by the year 2030. I have no doubt that we will reach this level. However, carbon neutrality is something different. Definitions vary bit in simple terms and I am deliberately reduced by instruments like offsets. It should mean that for a country, carbon emissions are equal to absorption in carbon sinks of which forests are one, both sides of the equation are important and have to be addressed simultaneously. At Paris, in December 2015, we made a commitment on carbon sequestration through forests, but I have serious doubts on its credibility. To my mind, this is a matter of overriding priority we will definitely became, so become a $5 trillion economy in a few years. That is an arithmetical inevitability, give or take a few years. Carbon neutrality, on the other hand, is a far bolder and worthwhile goal, the attainment of which has to be consciously engineered. It will involve massive scientific invention and technological innovation, especially when it comes to removing greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. But let me add one note of caution here based on our disappointing experience with nuclear energy. There is simple no silver bullet waiting for human ingenuity to harness. Every solution being put forward these days, the most recent of which is what we refer to as geoengineering, is riddled with complications 
that are not easy to resolve. Of course, renewable is an integral part of the solutions we seek, but they have to be seen as more than just devices. They open up avenues for re-architecturing systems as a whole. This has happened, for instance, in the German electricity sector over the past decade and a half. The post-COVID-19 world is an opportunity for us to switch gears and make a radical departure from the past to make economic growth ecologically sustainable. Stop writing. Now you should try to read your script and then do transcription. This process will help you to increase your speed and accuracy in stenography. Now, I am showing you few important words outline. This is part 1. This is part 2. This is part 3. Now, the meaning of few important words. Now, I am going to show you the full passage. This is part one. This is part two. This is part three. This is part four. And this is the final part. Thanks very much for watching. If you think this dictation is useful to you, then give your response or suggestions through comments under the below comment section of this video. Take care.